Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Trying to set this camera up. Amen, amen, amen. How was your yesterday? I pray it was well. Let me see if Facebook doing all right over here. Okay, let's get that together. Sorry, YouTubers. One day I promise I'm going to get this correct. Is that a little better? Uh, is that good? All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. It's the Facebook. I got it on the stand, but it's not cooperating. Let's see if that works. Sorry, YouTubers. Y'all doing good. Okay, here we go. Gonna have to work it like this. All right, good morning. I didn't come on yesterday because, like you, which I hope or pray or whatever your choice, it was the celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And I said, you know what? I'm not gonna get on here early because some people may have the day off and they may want to rest. Hallelujah. Well, anyway, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Any day above ground is a good day. Any day with the Lord is an even better day. Do you agree? Hallelujah. If you don't, praise God until you do. If this is your first time here, my name is Dr. Patricia Morris, and I am your prayer coach for the day. And I'm going to change from coming on here every morning, Monday through Friday to just Mondays and Fridays. I'm on here today because I didn't come on yesterday. If you would like for me to come on and pray with you, and you pray with me and have your devotions Monday through Friday, you need to let me know. If I don't hear from you, then it will only be Mondays and Fridays. And if a holiday falls on a Monday, I may come on that Tuesday. Anyway, if you want to send in your prayer requests, your comments, your questions, if you would like for me to review uh, your product or service on my YouTube channel and possibly on my television show, then reach out to me, pray151 at yahoo.com. You can also get a free prayer assessment and you can find out about other products and services that I have that are available to you. Do not post any personal business on any of my social media, especially when you are praying for someone else. Let's respect people's uh, privacy and practice confidentiality. That is a big, big thing with me. Unfortunately, some people and myself included uh, have revealed things to people in ministry and they felt justified in revealing it breaking confidentiality and that can break a person's heart a soul hurt they feel it turn them off make them mad at god so if you are guilty of that you need to repent you need to straighten that out amen and the same way how you openly openly harm them openly apologize if you hear music in the background I'm trying to give you a little music today uh this is the sounds of intercession apostolic prophetic prayer and worship music on youtube i do not own the rights Amen. Hallelujah. So let's get into it. I had something different for you today, but when as I was waking up this morning, the Lord gave me something else. And I preached on it before, and you probably heard somebody preach and teach on it before too. But every now and then we need to be reminded. And this morning he just gave me very clearly that the judge's role is too big for anyone to wear. It only fits the judge. God. Amen. If the music is too loud, please let me know. The final judgment belongs to God. Amen. Let us read some scriptures and we're going to get right into it. Uh, excuse me. I have a cough drop in my mouth. Sometimes I get in the morning, my throat be so a little scratchy. Okay, let's go to... I want to start off with, should I start off with people's favorites? Judge not, let me be judged. <laughs> yeah, I'll start off with that. That'd be people's favorite scripture. But sometimes people quote that scripture and they don't want to be called out on their stuff. We cannot judge and we should not judge people. We sure can judge the carrots or we can judge the fruit. We can see if, first see if our actions are lining up with the word of God 
and also that's how we measure a person's behavior we could judge behavior but not the person we can tell a person this is not lining up with the word of god we can see our own self and see if we are lining up with the word of god but we are not to judge people let people live however they want to live amen it don't mean you have to agree with it don't mean you have to go along with it but it also means you don't have to judge them either just love them if you got to love them from a distance because you got to separate fine but let people be people let god do the judging in their lives amen uh matthew chapter one excuse me i gotta take this cough drop out my mouth kind of come off camera okay matthew chapter one judge not that ye be not judged for with what judgment you judge you will be judged and with the measure you use it will be measured back to you so the same way you judge somebody else the same judgment you will receive you will be judged for the same thing that's why you see sometimes when people go out and they judge people and they they you know call them out on their stuff and judge them and next thing you know some time go by they found being guilty of the same thing like people who preach against um pedophilia and then you find out that they're guilty of it too am i saying that pedophilia is correct no i don't agree with it what i'm saying is people judge and they are doing the same thing. We see that in the news. That's why I brought that up. You've seen a lot of people preaching, teaching against it, and they being preaching, teaching against the same things that they're being busted uh, for doing. Amen. Another one is let's go to Romans, which is one of my favorites. Uh, Romans chapter 14, verse 4. Who are you to judge another's servant? To his own master, he stands or falls. Indeed, he will be made to stand for God is able to make him stand. So be careful who you judging. Whose servant are you judging? You're not God. Stop judging God's people. Amen. Preach the word of God. Teach the word of God. Amen. Explain it. Uh, proclaim it. But do not use it as a weapon to judge people. Amen. We can point out the faults. We can point out the sin. We can point out with the word of God as what we use to measure. But we are not to cast down judgment on people. The judge's robe is too big for anyone to wear. It only fits the judge who is God. Now, God has given us things to wear. We have our own garments. Everyone should wear what God has provided for each one to wear, period. For the spirit of heaviness, we can put on the garment of praise. You can find that in, in Isaiah 61 and 3. We have a daily armor that we are to put on. And we can find that in Ephesians chapter 6. That... um. The helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the sandals of peace, which is the preference of the gospel, the shield of faith that quenches every fiery dog, the evil one, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. That is what we are to put on. We are not to put on the judge's robe. Good morning, Queen Sherry. How are you? We are not to put on the judge's robe. The judge's robe is too big for anyone to wear, but we are to put on the whole armor each and every day. God has given each and every one of us what we are to wear. Amen. Even when it comes to our calling and positions in life, wear what God has called you to wear. Wear the garments that God has provided for you to wear. Amen. If you wear what you're supposed to wear, then you won't have the mindset of judging somebody else for, for whatever it is that they're doing. Amen. Walk in what God has called you to wear. Amen. God is the one who is going to judge. Now, you may say, well, there's judges in the world that do all There's all types of people that is doing all types of judges. OK, let's talk about the judicial system. Our job is to pray for righteous judges, righteousness in the judicial system. And even the judges who cast judgment and we see that they we see how they operate. So we definitely need to pray for them. But they still they may judge a person and, and, and put them in prison. 
They may send an innocent person to jail. May God release them in the name of Jesus and send a, a, a guilty person free. May God step in in the name of Jesus. But the end of the day, when it comes to judging the body and the soul, judging the soul where the soul is to go, that belongs to God. A person may put you in some type of imprisonment, but they cannot judge your soul. Amen. Hallelujah. Go to Matthew chapter 10. Let's see. Verse 28. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear, fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Only God can wear that garment. Amen. And he will judge. For those who say only God can judge me. Yes, but he will judge. So be very afraid of that. Keep that in mind. Amen. Hear the warnings of God's service before God is in the position to have to cast the final judgment on you. Amen. That goes for all of us. That finger is pointed towards me as well. Don't let pride get in to the point where you don't want to hear the instructions and the warnings from God before the, the judgment of God does come upon you. Amen. Uh, Matthew chapter 7, 21 and 23. Is that what I want to go? No. No, that's not where I want to go. Oh, that's a good scripture. That's not where I want to go, though. <laughs> All right, let's go to... Uh, I did Matthew 10, 28. Okay. I think that's the last scripture that I want to give y'all today. Oh, wait. I think I do want to go to Matthew 7. We're talking about the judgment. The judgment. God is the ultimate judge. Amen. Okay. Now, we are to judge the fruit, the character, the behavior, and our measure of judging is not our own minds, our own opinions, but the word of God. Amen. And we are to know people by their fruits. Uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Men will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Cast out demons in your name? Done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Those who are judging people with the law, the rules, however they judge it, but yet they don't practice what they preach. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on a rock. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it did not fall, but it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it fell and great was its fall. There are many who preach and teach the word of God and they be make, they be preaching the truth of the word of God, but not doing it themselves. They're judging others, but they're not judging themselves. They're holding other people accountable to the word of God, but they're not holding themselves accountable to the word of God. They have put on, they have taken off the garments that God has given them to walk this earth and whatever, whatever position, title, whatever part of the body you are in and put on the judge's robe. And God is clearly saying that the judge's robe is too big for anyone to wear. It only fits the judge. And that judge is God. Amen. So if you are a victim of somebody's judgment, remember, God also says, who are you to judge another, another man's servant? So that is God's opinion of the one who has cast judgment on you. Your response could be the word of God. Who are you to judge another man's servant? Amen. I belong to God. My relationship is with God and he is the one who cast the final judgment on me. Thank you for your opinion. <laughs> Thank you for what you think you see or see or however you put it together. But God is the one who judges me. You pray for me. Pray for me to walk the righteous path that God has laid before for me and as you are praying for me include yourself in those prayers as well may we all walk together in righteousness in god amen hallelujah 
God is the only one who can judge us. But remember, God is going to judge us. Amen. That we don't have to be mean. We don't have to act ugly even when someone casts a judgment on us. We don't have to be mean and act ugly. We can give the word of God and love and keep it moving. Sometimes you don't even have to respond. Just go in your secret closet and pray. pray. And if you are guilty, if you are a victim, pray. If you are guilty of it, repent. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and put on the, the garments that God has provided for us to put on. Amen. Walk in the garments, the, the, the whatever it is that God has called us all to walk in and leave the judge's robe to God. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you and praise the day. We bless you, Father. We thank you for life, health, and strength, food, clothes, and shelter. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to be here. We pray for those who are in places where there is famine, where there is all types of calamities and tragedies, all type of wars going on, people who are in danger, we pray, we lift them up, we pray that you have mercy on them, God, we pray that you visit them, Lord God, we pray for those who have been falsely accused, judged um, unjustly, uh, we pray for those who are in any type of captivity or imprisonment, held against your word, your will, and your way for you to visit them, God, we're asking your mercy upon them, set them free, Father, save him and deliver them, even make them weapons of war for you, turn the evil thing that has been launched out against them to work for them, Father. And hold those responsible, accountable, according to their deeds, according to your, your words, your will, and your way. Help us to remember that we are not to wear the judge's robe, that that robe um, don't fit us. It only fits you, God. Forgive us for those whom we have judged. Forgive us, Father, for taking on um, the judgment seat. Forgive us, Father, for whatever reason, because we was taught to do it. We felt we was uh, good enough to do it. Whatever the reason, Father, we ask for forgiveness. And we pray that you heal those who have been harmed by the judgment of others. We pray, God, and we put on the whole armor that you have provided for us in your word. If anyone is suffering from depression or anxiety, any type of attacks on their mind, we pray, Father, in Jesus' name, that you will give them a peace that surpasses all understanding, that you will help them to put on the garment of praise. And we pray. Pray, Father, for those who have been told all types of things that are not true, uh, made to be feel like they are not good enough, even for you, God. Not good enough to enter into a church, not good enough to hold a position, not good enough to do anything. We pray, Father, that you save Hill and deliver them, wash them with the blood of Jesus. And while we're declaring the blood of Jesus, we're declaring it now throughout every household. Every dwelling place, every place of residence, every means of transportation, jobs, finances, school, church of schools, day camp. We plead the blood of Jesus over those in the military, those who are responsible for protecting the people in, the, in this land. We pray your hedge protection upon us all. May the weapons of our enemies be destroyed. When they seek counsel against us, let them become confused and war against each other. We pray, Father, in Jesus' name, for traveling mercies. We pray that your hand of protection be upon the nurseries, the, the children, of the babies in the nursery, the children in child care, and those who are in school, those who are walking to school, riding to school. We pray that your hand of protection be upon them. We pray for our unsafe family, friends, and loved ones to hear your voice and obey. Break whatever ungodly strongholds is, is binding and blocking them from receiving you. Heal them for whatever it is that is blocking them from receiving you, Lord God. We're praying for persecuted Christians all over this world, that you continue to provide safe places and passages for them. Let the fear of the Lord come upon those who dare to persecute those who are of you, God. And we thank you, Lord God. And if anyone send any man of evil towards us, we pray the blood of Jesus to block it, cause it to have a boomerang effect. Go back to the center with a godly sorrow that leads to repentance. We thank you, Lord God. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against the judgment shall be condemned. Every lie that has been told on the repentance, the spirit of truth brings truth and that you bring conviction upon those who have told those lies. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, and we give your name praise that by the stripes Jesus born the cross, we are healed, that you supply all of our needs according to the riches of the glory of Christ Jesus, that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength, that you work all things together for good for us because we love you and we're called according to your purpose. And because we give, you give good measure, press down, shake together, run over men, and should give unto to our bosom. We pray for the wisdom to make the right decisions in every area of our lives. And may we never be found guilty of judging our brother or our sister, or even someone who is not a believer. But may we all pray for those, Father God, 
who need prayer, Lord God. And first, let it begin with our own selves. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Still our family, still our marriages, still our loved ones, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, people, God, for praying with this morning. I pray that you have a blessed and wonderful day in God. I pray that you walk in God's supernatural power, that his favor rests upon you, that he give you favor with man wherever you go. And remember, the judge's robe is too big for anyone to wear. It only fits the judge and that is God. Amen. Hallelujah. Queen Sherry hit me up. Ooh, I want to go see that, you know, that comedian. Amen. Have a blessed day. I love you and God loves you best. <laughs>